Hello my dear friends welcome back to the channel and this is your friend Dr Suresh Anvi Recently one of my viewer has asked me about angle of convergence and I am discussing the same in this video As you all know in indirect restorations it is important that we have to have a taper and taper is basically the angle made by the inclination of one wall with the long axis of the tooth I have already discussed the taper flare and bevel in a very simplified way in one of the recently posted video and if you want to watch it please find the link in the description Now the taper is a generalized word it doesn't differentiate between the various types of restorations indirect restorations can be either intracoronal or it can be extracoronal and to differentiate taper with respect to these type of restorations we have two different terminologies that is angle of convergence or the angle of divergence the preparations which are meant for extracoronal restorations for example for the crowns also have a taper For example in this image you can see that the mesial and the distal walls are convergent towards the occlusal surface and if you project these convergence these two projections will meet at specific point and they will form a angle and this total angle formed at this junction is called as angle of convergence because these two walls are converging and if you draw a line in the center which is parallel to the long axis of the tooth this total angle will be split into two half each half will then represent the taper so the angle of convergence is meant for extra coronal preparations because the walls converge here whereas in the preparations which are meant for intra coronal restorations for example in lace the walls diverge toward the occlusal surface for example in this image you can see the buccal and the lingual walls is diverging towards the occlusal surface so if you project these two angles towards the pulpal side they are going to meet and form a total angle and that angle here is called as angle of divergence because the walls diverge in intracoronal preparations and if you split it in half then you get the taper for each walls so that was the angle of convergence and divergence and in general the angle of convergence or divergence will range from 10 to 12 degrees total the 10 degrees is meant for restorations which are prepared with metal cast restorations and the 12 degrees is for the aesthetic cast restoration for all ceramics which have greater friction into the cavity preparation the textbooks also say that you should always judge the angle of convergence and divergence by looking the preparation from only one eye with a stable head and you can use a photographic mirror instead of a mouth mirror to judge it better If you found this video helpful please click the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon I will see you once again very soon with one more video